Disclaimer. The content of this video is for information only. You are solely responsible for the way in which you use this information. The personal opinions expressed in this presentation are just that and nothing more, which is the right of the author in accordance with the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 19, which states, Everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive and impart information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers. The techniques you are about to watch are complementary therapy and not alternative. Therefore, always consult with a doctor when you believe you are suffering from any condition that may be impairing your mental or physical abilities. Never cease taking prescribed medication without first obtaining permission from a doctor or other qualified person. The content of this video is offered free of charge, but it may at some point be included in a future production. However, this would contain additional information. Therefore, if you have paid for this video on its own, basically you have been ripped off by some unscrupulous bastard and need to seek them out for a refund by whatever means necessary, providing it is legal. Okay, now we've got the legal crap out of the way. Please enjoy, and if it helps in any way, then it was worth my effort. PTSD is a serious and underestimated problem for service personnel. Support is out there. One of the organisations I personally recommend in the UK is the charity Combat Stress. For further information, visit www.combatstress.org.uk. Hi there, my name is Stuart Wellborn, and welcome to this series of special military transition tips videos. Now, before I start getting into the content, I'm going to give you a little bit of my background. I left school with pretty much no qualifications because all I wanted to do was join the Royal Navy, which I did do in 1989. I was medically discharged in 1996 and so for my resettlement I trained and qualified in hypnotherapy and psychotherapy. When I left I set up my own practice and it wasn't easy. I had lots of crap jobs on the side. I've been a taxi driver, I've been a pool lifeguard, I've cleaned petrol station forecourts. I've done all sorts of jobs while I've been building my practice. I've now given up doing one-to-one -one therapy to concentrate on helping people like yourself to set up in business. My interests are I'm obviously interested in things to do with the mind, psychology, but I'm also interested in theology, quantum physics and all sorts of mad stuff like that. You're now going to see a slideshow of my certificate so that you can then decide whether to keep watching or not based on whether you think I'm qualified enough. So enjoy the slideshow, I'll be back in a moment. We start off with my first diploma for hypnotherapy from back in 1996 and the next one for the training I did in Harley Street London in the same year. My main influence was Freud when I set up in practice and so I did a separate diploma in dream analysis. In 1998, I completed a diploma course in neuro-linguistic programming. Over the next 10 years, I read lots of books, attended workshops, seminars and short courses on a variety of subjects from past life regression to relationship counselling. And I also gained a couple of theology-based diplomas during this time, though I have not included them here. I received my diploma in Complete Mind Therapy in 2008 and then in 2009 attended Level 1 and 2 training courses in EFT. The last two certificates are from professional bodies that I have been a member of. OK, you've seen my certificates now. As I mentioned, I'm no longer offering one-to-one -one treatment, at least for the foreseeable future. Over the years I've helped numerous clients who suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. So I know that what you're going to learn about in these videos does work. It may not work for everybody, but nothing does. However, the techniques you're going to learn in this video will work for some people. So that's why I'm creating it. See, another reason that I've created this set of videos is because 
not everybody qualifies for the help from charities because you've got too much money coming in. Then there's the other people that can't afford to come and see someone like myself and pay one-to-one -one prices. So there's this group of people in the middle, which is probably the majority, who don't qualify on one hand and can't afford it on the other. So that's why I've created this set of videos to help people like yourself so that you can help yourself to get better. Another reason that people aren't going to doctors and therapists when they're suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder is we've been in the forces so you know we've got to be tough. It's also embarrassing to talk about personal uh, problems so that can hold people back. So another reason I've created this set of videos is to allay some of the doubts that you might have about these sort of treatments. You know the medical professions and the drug companies will say that it's a load of rubbish. Well I've worked with people and I know it's not just hippie bullshit. You know, at the end of the day we want to help people to get better. So obviously do go and see your doctor but explore the alternatives as well because it doesn't matter how you get better as long as you do. So this set of videos is to help you to help yourself to get better.